All right, good morning, guys. We got an early morning delivery in uh, Palm Springs here. Full truck of lumber. I'm gonna go ahead now and spread my forks out for this. This bunk of lumber I have on the right is actually longer than 22 feet. I had to uh, enable to get it off the, uh, or get it loaded onto the truck. I had to finagle the uh, Moffitt to give it a couple more inches so they could load it. Right. Let's wait for this Jeep, but look what he's doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this aside for now. And I'm gonna move the truck and then uh, grab this again off the street and put it on top of this other bunk because I have to drop this curbside. There's nowhere to put it. It's early and I got my beeper on, so I'm gonna turn that off so these rich people get all upset. All right, so. Gonna grab my stickers real quick. I can pull the truck over and get the bigger lumber off first to where it needs to be set. It's all going through one tiny uh, gate. So, I'm gonna put my uh, stabilizers down so I can drop this. Fortunately, this is a neighborhood, so it's a quieter road. my truck over so I can get the main part off. So I'm gonna hang tight right there for a second. I'm off and turn off as much as possible this early in the morning. But as you can see, we're going in. Well, I'm not, but all the lumber's got to go through this little tiny gate right here. And you got 22 foot lumber, 24 foot lumber. So. Alright, well, 
My Moffat's a little cold here, so I'm gonna let it sit for a second. When it's cold, you need to start it, click it over, let the glow plugs warm up. forklift up. I'm going to come back and get all the pictures and notes for you. All 
right, so that's it for that. I just gotta follow up with the customer and uh, take inventory with pictures of everything I got. I'm gonna put some comments in for the damaged plywood and anything he notices could be missing. So give me a like or comment and uh, subscribe if you like. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a nice day.